I'm Des Dizukerman. Welcome to my podcast, The World of Sacred Healing, where we learn about and discuss the magic and the mystery of the spiritual life and the deep healing of the soul. In our world today, growing into your authentic self has become an accepted and even a desired goal. It's been a natural outgrowth of the globalization of knowledge, incorporating and celebrating everything from the Dharma coming to the West to the 20th century appreciation of indigenous wisdom and the evolution of human behavioral science as it morphed into spiritual psychology. Throw in the tech revolution and quantum physics, and you have the modern contemporary seeker. A vast array of philosophical treatises and creative new thought leaders have filled the last 100 years, making us the product of a brilliant hodgepodge of ideas, overlaying remnants of stodgy tradition. Pursuing your place in the whole, finding your soul's purpose, your unique calling, a way to serve and focus your life has become the modern zeitgeist, shifting what we think of as the whole being into a more modern, actually an eclectic definition of what it means to be whole, and that's supposed to be an awakened life. So this is the place where we find the difficulty. Today, for a truly committed seeker to bring this expanded consciousness into leadership means understanding the spiritual as well as the practical. So developing a spiritual toolbox is a really first step, because being a conscious leader, being a leader in command of your own spiritual evolutionary development and your own experience of how to connect heart to heart, means leading from your authentic inspired spirit. Doing your personal work to wear the raiment of your true inner self so that the growing edge you've invested your heart, time, and energy into can expand into your professional world. I mean, isn't it a nice idea that I work hard on myself and I I notice the changes in my relationships and my connections with people, but when I go to work, it doesn't seem to compute, doesn't add up. But what if it did? What if when you went to work, you brought your best self? You know what that means? It means that you need to continue developing your unique gifts and talents. That you need to tell the truth about what you're A, interested in, and B, what you're good at. And to benefit not only your life and business, but, you know, the people you touch every single day. A conscious leader is present and grounded and takes an operating stance of service in the world, committing to support those in their care, to fulfill their own calling, engaging your own power in a more generous way, will awaken everyone around you. Thank you so much for joining me. I've loved spending time with you. Please don't forget to leave a review. Visit us at YourSacredAnatomy.com.